Nobby and welcome back to the Twig Science Lab. I am excited about this investigation because we get to drive our cars into this big, heavy, immovable wall. <gasps> we need to test the safety mechanisms so our driver, Egg, doesn't get scrambled. For this investigation, we'll need our model car, a ramp, cardboard, bubble wrap, a table tennis ball, cotton balls, rubber bands, glue, scissors, and tape. Each of the three cars has a safety mechanism installed. Car one uses a cushion system. The driver sits in this soft cushioned area made of cotton balls. When the car hits the wall, the energy will be transferred to the soft cushioned area. Car two uses a restraining system. It's a seat belt made using a rubber band. The belt is placed around the driver, which should prevent the driver from being flung out of the car. Car three has a crumple zone, and that's fitted to the front of the car. When the car hits the wall, the energy is transferred to the crumple zone. Because these are prototypes, we don't know how well they'll work or how safe our eggs will be. For this reason, we're gonna be using table tennis balls. We'll test the prototypes and then see if there are any design improvements we can make before risking our eggs. First up, we've got our cushion safety mechanism. Let's see how effective this is at cushioning our table tennis ball. Ooh, that didn't look good. Let's look closely at what happened. The collision slowed the speed of the car, but all that energy had to go somewhere. The energy didn't completely transfer to the cushioning. The table tennis ball didn't slow down like the car. It still had quite a lot of energy as it flew out of the car and hit the wall. Safety mechanism design number two, the seatbelt. Let's see how effective this is. Ouch. If that had been a real egg, there would have been a big splat. The collision caused the speed of the car to slow. The rubber band should slow the driver too. But can we see any evidence of energy transfer from the driver to the rubber band? Well, a bit. You can see the rubber band stretching, but the energy wasn't transferred as it should have been, which is why the ball flew out of the car and hit the wall. Finally, safety mechanism design number three, car crumpling. I'm expecting the front of the car to crumple upon impact, keeping our driver safely inside. Let's find out. Ugh, another failure. What happened? Let's take a closer look. The car crumpling mechanism didn't even crumple. The table tennis ball didn't slow down like the car. It still had a lot of energy as it flew out of the car and hit the wall. Well team, three tests, three table tennis drivers flung out of the cars, which means three failures. Our safety mechanism designs need to be improved. Otherwise our egg drivers are gonna end up, well, splattered. What parts of the design did work? Do we need to use more materials or perhaps less? How can our designs be improved so the transfer of energy keeps our egg drivers safe? It's time to refine our designs. For car one, maybe we could add more cushioning and maybe we could try a different material to see if it cushions more. Maybe bubble wrap. For this car, why don't we add a second seatbelt? I've seen racing car drivers have two seatbelts, one going across each shoulder. And for car three, we definitely need to improve this crumple zone so that it fully absorbs the energy of the impact. What about me? Oh, don't you worry, Egg. We'll keep using our table tennis balls to test our safety design mechanisms. Free you. And then it'll be race time. <laughs> 